Hey guys, this is Rara Coco, and boy, oh boy, I have a massive great news for you. This data that I was about to give you, we are in the verge of a parabolic squeeze. In the verge of parabolic squeeze. The data, the information does not lie. The short sellers are in a massive trouble they are deep deep deeply committed okay to have to pay what they need to pay back failures to deliver to the roof here it is we are ready to do parabolic squeeze and it's about to happen so i want you to look at this short interest right here short interest right now is 36.71 percent that is huge. That is massive. All right. 13.76 um, short interest. That's 13.76 million. That is the actual shares that has been shorted, right? That's not even included synthetic shares that the short sellers are hiding somewhere somehow. Okay. That is just that one. And that is massive. That is huge. Okay. These are the data, these are the information that actually triggers parabolic squeeze. So cost to borrow minimum is 3.94, huge. Cost to borrow average is 17.9%. This one right here, the utilization keeps going up. That's what I want to see. I really, really, really like to see that. 98.51%, okay, 98.51%. Please finish watching this video because I have massive information for you that backs up the data, okay? Cost to borrow 7.84, 7.54. Days to cover is 2.86. Uh, shares on loan is 14.8 million. Now, this is just Ortex data, all right? It's a very good source of information to base upon if you're trying to monitor if there's a squeeze that's about to happen. Now, remember, Two weeks ago, I said there's going to be a big, big things that's going to happen. And I was able to predict that when we went up to $58, I think over uh, $58, right? From 40 something. We were, we went massive, right? So this time, the one that I'm seeing is actually a bigger than that one, bigger than that could happen. It's because this is just Kassab, this is just Ortex, okay? They're not very accurate, but it's good enough to use base, basic information. So with regards to, let me show you this one. With regards to, see if I can lower this now. With regards to Fintel, okay? Fintel, it says right here, 12,185, 605 shares. That's being shorted by the short sellers. Now, this is just the information that they were saying. There is synthetic shares out there that I believe that is way more that they were about to pay. Now, short interest ratio, it takes about 5.61 days for them to close this. This went up drastically. That is another indicator of a squeeze, of a parabolic squeeze. Short interest float is 32.51%, all right? And then the dark pool volume is 476,904. The dark pool ratio is 55.15%, okay? Let's see where we at. Even on the short squeeze score, we are getting better and better. 89.02 is the, is the score. And we are now number 28, okay? The lower this one gets, the better for us, okay? The short shares available to short the stock is 2,000 shares, right? There's only 2,000 shares right now available to short this stock, okay? All right, let me show you some more. Failures to deliver is massive. And there is about something to happen in there too. So if you look at 11.15, 11.08, okay? What you want to do is you want to add 35 working days on top of this one. 
So 35 working days on top of 1115, that's when they're going to um, possibly make a big payment or payout or return the failures to deliver that they failed to deliver. They got to pay it back, okay? What I want you to do is to count T plus 35 and this, 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 and that. It's not cumulative. That is the day that they're going to pay us back, okay? Which I think it's going to happen in the next two weeks, all right? Next two weeks. Always use T plus 35 days. Use working days. Saturday, Sunday is not included on T plus 35. Only working days. If it's a holiday, it's not counted. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you count that one, two, three, four. All right? Count that. But look at how massive this is. 2 million, 50,000 shares. I mean, 2 million, 50,000, 8 mil, uh, 8,000, 228,000, 1 million, 1 1.3 million, 65,000, 647,000, 1.4 million. I mean, those are massive information, massive data that is really, really an indicator that we are about to explode, okay? This is me. I mean, I can be wrong. You know, don't look at me as, uh, as, as, the re as, as the, the information that I'm giving you is, is my opinion only. I am not a financial advisor. I am not uh, that person. But I've been so correct so many times based on my studies and my due diligence. So I am just a stupid guy who's just giving you this information. Do your own due diligence. Don't invest because of what I just said, all right? So take a look at this institutional owners, right? I'm going to show you something. There's only 40 million outstanding shares. 40 million outstanding shares. Okay. 40 million outstanding shares. Based on all of this information, I am detecting a parabolic squeeze that is going to happen in the next two weeks. I could be wrong, but it's just the short sellers has to pay things back. They are going to be either margin call or SEC, SEC is going to make them pay. Uh, there's a rule out there, though, that, you know, even though they're going to try to help them park their long-term um, long investment to, to SEC so that they won't go bankrupt and then pay it back later. SEC will help them, okay, so they don't go bankrupt, all right? But this information here that I gathered is a massive, massive information. Here's another information why I think is very, very good for us. This is the options. Let's see, where is this? So December 31st. All right, we are at 42. As you notice, there is not much open interest, all right? There is one of 50 for 1,600, but I'm liking all these numbers, not much of open interest. The same thing with, that is call option, and this is the put option. Not much open interest, right? Not massive there, nothing, nothing going on. So not a lot of people are buying options, which is good for uh, cassava science. Let's take a look at January 31st, January 7. So January 7, no open interest either, not much. For calls and then for puts, not much. This is good. This is actually a sign. This is when normally short sellers are trying to like make some payment, do something, uh, reduce the interest rate that they're paying, and it's going to be 
really, really good for cassava science. Guys, be ready because I really think there's going to be a parabolic squeeze that is about to happen in the next two, three weeks. Okay, hang in there. Keep buying if you can. This price range right now is so cheap. Okay, so, so cheap. Plus, the good news that's coming out on step one, on, on step one and then step two, phase three, uh, they're doing really, really, really well result-wise on that regards, according to my source. So that's why I'm very confident with Cassava Science. Congratulations to all of you that's still holding. Congratulations to all of you that are about to buy. My name is Ra Ra Coco. You heard it from me with regards to this parabolic squeeze that's about to happen with Cassava Science. This is Ra Ra Coco. May love, peace, prosperity be with you all. Hit the like button. Hit the uh, notification button. This information that I'm giving you are free information and I can give you an update on a weekly, daily basis. Please subscribe.